So we're going to talk very briefly for about 30 minutes how to use a ridiculously smart but simple ETF system that consistently delivered big time results. And that's what everyone's looking for, right? We're all looking for big time results in all market conditions with lots of compounding without being chained to your computer. So, uh, of course, this is uh, provided for the express purpose of disclosing proprietary investment selection of the monitoring system, which is copyrighted material. Uh, past results of any trade or investment system are not necessarily indicative of future performance. And we, of course, have to say that. Uh, here's what we're going to talk about today. This is the trading chart for uh, a recent day, and it just kind of shows uh, in a nutshell exactly what we're talking about. This is our trade chart. It shows the nine different ETFs that we trade, sectors, everything from the DIA and the SPY, which are, of course, famous, to uh, the financial sector, the oil sector, which is OIH, uh, the gold sector, semiconductors, real estate, and materials. So what we're going to answer today is these bi big questions. Number one, is it really possible to get above market returns, above average market returns, benefit from lots of compounding in less than 15 minutes a week? And do you need a high profile financial advisor to be able to successfully trade ETFs? Number three, is it buy, hold, and pray investing in mutual funds the only logical way to trade? Uh, and then some other questions, and we'll kind of kind of gloss over a little bit of these in the interest of time. Um, but uh, is it possible that dollar cost averaging is a scam? Should I dollar cost average to a 50% loss? And you know, we have we're gonna answer a lot of questions today. Uh, why, in simpler terms, is compounding so crucial to my success as trader? Uh, as a trader, and what kind of strategies should we use? Number nine, uh, is it, is does it matter the win loss rate, the size of winning versus losing trades, or probability of ruin? So anyway, slow down, Kurt. What's an ETF, and why should I care? Most of you here on this uh, webinar today are probably very familiar with what an ETF is. So we'll kind of skip right to, to the meat of this. Uh, ETFs allow us to have a massive, massively diversified portfolio with the simplicity of trading a single stock. You know, there's over 6,000 different ETFs, and this was, uh, uh, I, I clipped this last October, so there's probably even more now. Uh, you know, there's over $10 trillion will be in ETFs by 2020. And why should you listen to me? Well, quite frankly, I'm nobody special. I'm from a small dairy farming town, Preston, Idaho. If you ever saw the 2004 movie, Napoleon Dynamite, well, that was filmed in my hometown. Um, you know, there's the, the farm that I grew up in, uh, you know, actually outside of Preston, Idaho and Mink Creek, Idaho, 12 miles out of town. So when you're 12 miles out of a small town, that's the middle of nowhere. Um, so I did get lucky. My first uh, real job was with an internet startup that we sold in 1998. You can look that up. It was called Open Market. It was the company that acquired us, and iCentral was the company that we sold. So as a senior in college, uh, participated in a company where we sold it for $10 million in, in stock and $1 million in cash. And since, the, since then, I literally have traveled the world working with multimillionaires and flying on jets like this. This is a Gulfstream 3 uh, that um, one of my clients in, in uh, California would drive, uh, fly back and forth between uh, Utah and uh, California to consult with me. Um, so, you know, there's me on, on, on the G3, right, with, uh, with the, some of their kids. And I have traveled the world speaking with multimillionaires. I've spoken in events in the UK, Australia, Singapore, Malaysia, Russia, Costa Rica, India, of all places. And I've been featured in bestsellers like The Newness on the Late Shift, How to Get Rich on the Internet, and Click Here to Order. But if you're anything like me, every time I've turned my investment dollars over to others, it's bombed. Have you ever had that experience? I'm sure many of you have, many of you have had that. But I have zero desire to day trade or be chained to my desk or do anything super risky. I want something that generates above average market returns with lots of compounding in less than 15 minutes a week. Because really, I have two main interests. If you're anything like me, you have a couple big interests and then some side interests. I love to travel. Um, you know, this is near the where I currently live in eastern Washington, the northern and, and northern Idaho. Uh, I love to spend time with my kids out on the lake. And I love to travel to places like Guatemala and uh, Tikal, ruins like that. Uh, this is the mountains in Machu Picchu as we hike into Machu Picchu. And this is uh, some more places in Central America. Um, and all of this, I just show this to you to impress upon you how important it is uh, to get first things first. And in my life, the first things are my wife and three kids. So my investing goal is to have way above market returns, lots of compounding, less than 15 minutes a week. So who else is with me on that? Uh, go ahead and type in the questions box if that's something that's that you're interested in. We're not talking about day trading. We're not talking about, uh, you know, making 100% a day or anything like that. But way above market returns, lots of compounding, and less than 15 minutes a week. So here's the results. 
what if going back to late 2006 when we launched this system, if we would put $10,000 in each of the nine different ETFs that we track? Remember, uh, we track the DIA, the SPY, the Qs, the gold index, the materials index, the oil index. What if we put, would have put $90,000 into that? Well, $90,000 would have turned into $24.5 million with compounding which is a 27,000% return or 273X on capital. But even if we take off the compounding part, uh, the $90,000, if we would have just banked all the profits, that $90,000 would have turned into nearly 600,000 with zero compounding, which is still a 5.6X. And here's some of the examples of the signals. The average trades about 30 days in length. You can see here uh, in the recent past trades that we've taken on the Dow Jones, uh, it shows the red arrow where we go short, green arrow we would go long and we're flipping back and forth between between being long and short in that particular ETF bullish or bearish here's the S&P 500 here's the Nasdaq you can see that we're not uh, capturing every up and down right we're not uh, capturing every hill and valley but we're doing a pretty good job of getting in on the big trends especially on sectors that are a little bit more volatile like banking you can see the trades are a little bit more frequent or oil is kind of our granddaddy of all trades, uh, trading sectors because it uh, fluctuates and is so volatile and is a commodity. Um, the price fluctuates up and down quite a bit and we dramatic, we profit from that uh, very, very easily. Gold uh, is more long-term moves. You can see we have some very long um, bullish trades to the upside, semiconductors, real estate, materials, and you know, quite simply, we keep track of and we're willing to show you every single trade that's been generated by the system going back to uh, 922, 2006. We're willing to show you the, the drawdowns, the profit and losses, uh, the per trade, the days in trade, all of that on every single trade uh, within every single sector. And if you would have been with us recently, one of our best recent trades, uh, we had a 41.82% on single ETFs. And we're gonna talk about double ETFs and options and things like that shortly, but 41% gain from 729, 2016 till uh, February of this year. And you can see here on the chart how, how one of those trades looks. But like we mentioned, oil is probably our most profitable sector. So here's how we generate these signals. Now we've, we've shared with you what this is, what this isn't, uses ETFs, but let's talk about how we generate these tipping point signals. By definition, uh, technical analysis is 50 years of traders arguing about stuff that works sometimes. If you go to Google, uh, Amazon and type in technical analysis, you're gonna get up, come up with results of over 50,000 books related to technical analysis. So here's my controversial statement of the day. Moving averages suck. Um, Larry Williams, Great writer, great trader. He's filled a dozen or so books with 60 or so different oscillators related to trading. But really, uh, should there just be one that actually works by now? The answer is that technical study by itself doesn't do it, looking at the same data. Because if we're all looking at the same data, we're really only looking at three different elements. Everyone's looking at price, time, and volume. And of those, most indicators uh, concentrate on two out of the three. They concentrate on price and time and not volume. So that's all we have is price, time, and volume to look at. So everyone scrambles to put to their name on a proprietary indicator that attempts to manipulate the results in a slightly different fashion. But the basic value of all of these is they all use moving averages, right? You're gonna see standard deviations using averages in Bollinger Bands, MACD, stochastics, Wilder's parabolics, triple smooth exponentials, all of that. But even a newbie to trading knows that moving averages are a big gotcha. If they're too short, you get whipsawed. If they're too long, you get left in the dust and missing that big market turn. And if you go to Investopedia and just type in technical indicators, uh, look how many indicators we have. Uh, everything from Bollinger Bands, like we've already mentioned, to disparity index, to exhausted selling model, to fractals, to uh, morning stars, to Q star index, stick sandwich, trigger line. And it goes on and on and on. So what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you exactly uh, what this is based on and how the indicator that we created from scratch works and what it's based on. So let's get down to the business. First off, we're, we only cover uh, ETFs and uh, stocks that have options available on them. We could take a whole class just on this, but it's been proven that stocks that have, stocks and ETFs that have options available on them have much more investor interest, of course, uh, by definition, which equates to a better trading vehicle. Generally, the price is more stable and displayed more investor confidence. 
Number two, we look at the ETFs for their components, which are a basket of stocks. And these baskets have some basic problems. We're gonna uh, skip over most of this, but basically there's a couple different ways ETFs can be formed and uh, the different ways the indexes are formed. You can either be a price weighted index, a market cap weighted, or an equal weighted. In our opinion, the only sensible way to treat all of these is equally weighted. So if you're in the S&P 500, every stock has a one 500th vote, uh, whether the stock is priced at $4 or $400, whether it's a very large company or very small company. So the real secret goes back to a book published in 1963. 1963 was the year that Joe Granville published his book called New Key to Stock Market Profits. And this is the core idea that we've taken, modified, put on steroids, and you know, basically probably made almost unrecognizable to Joe Granville if he was still alive today to take a look at this. But in 1963, he came up with the concept of on balance volume. So on balance volume was the first and most popular indicator to measure positive and negative volume flow. The concept behind this indicator is very simple. And if you take nothing else away from this event today, just remember volume precedes price. Any major change in price is preceded by a change in volume. So we have price, time, and volume. We, we talked about that earlier, how really those are the only three uh, pieces of data we have to look at, but most people concentrate on price and time. Price and time. There's very, very few, relative to the others, very few volume indicators. So volume precedes price. OBV in its simplest form, and we are not, uh, we don't use OBV. OBV is kind of like, uh, you know, the, the basic addition and subtraction level. Uh, what we're talking about with ET, ETF tipping point is more like, the calculus level, right? So OBV is the simplest explanation of uh, how the indicator works. And then we're gonna share with you how we've turbocharged it and you know, put it into the information age. So OBV is a simple indicator that adds a period's volume when it closes up, subtracts a period's volume when it closes down. So uh, basically an OBV will, will share with you uh, when there's a divergence between the OBV line and the price line, and you can you used to be able to make trades based on that. But of course, it was only calculated at the end of every day. So if we take a look at the, the accelerating pace of computing power, remember this OBV concept came out back in 1963 when we were just getting done with working with vacuum tubes, and we just got into transistor. We hadn't even got into integrated circuits and computers. So you look at that kind of pinkish red line, and uh, transect that with 1963, and you can see the computing power we had back then was pretty minuscule. Now compare that to what we have today, and all of a sudden you can see the accelerating pace of change. You know, it took the agricultural revolution 8,000 years, industrial rev re revolution 120 years, the light bulb 90 years, moon landing, the World Wide Web, everything is getting faster and faster and faster. But in trading, a lot of times we're still using old ideas without applying the power of technology and the power of computing power. So that's what we've, we've done with the ETF tipping point because the OBV as originally calculated was just done once a day. So it doesn't take long for you to lose the true value of that. So what we've done is we look at every single stock individually that makes up the ETF. So for example, if we're looking at the S&P 500, we keep a running total throughout the day as to whether there's more buying than selling going on on every single trade, tick by tick. So does anybody have any idea, how would you keep an idea of, uh, keep track of whether there's more buying or selling pressure going on on every single stock, tick by tick? Go ahead and answer uh, in the questions box if you have an idea, how, we, how are we doing that? Every single trade, tick by tick. Okay, well quite simply, here's what we're doing. And this is just in one sector. Here's all 500 companies of S&P 500. Everything from Bristol Myers to Sintas to uh, Dollar Tree to FedEx to all, you know, the list goes on and on, of course. What we do is we look at the bid and ask price of every single trade that is transacted. So if the sale went off closer to the ask price, then the sellers were willing to hold out for a higher price and the buyers were willing to pay a little bit extra. On the flip side, if the sale went off at the bid price, then it was the sellers who were willing to move their prices down toward the buyers who were in control, able to force the hand of the sellers. So it's pretty simply, it looks like this. The bid is the price a seller is willing to pay for the stock and ask is the price a seller is willing to sell their shares. And the gap in between is called the bid ask spread, right? What we're doing is we're analyzing every single trade in this example on the S&P 500, on all 500 stocks that make up S&P 500, every transaction that takes place inside of those stocks, 
where did that trade close at closer to the bid price or closer to the ask price? What that allows us to do is establish a positive or negative tick volume, which like Joe Granville's original OBV idea, allows us to set up with a much greater confidence, a more precise measure of where the real power is. So at the end of the day, out of 500 stocks in the S&P 500, we can know which are on a positive footing, greater than 50% with real accumulation, how many are negative stance. Using this ETF tipping point, uh, we can come up with a high level of confidence of the trend and play. I'm ready to, I'm happy to reap the reward of the product, which is whatever it's called by, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> other than OBV, which was the original thing that we based it on. Now notice that all of this is done without the use of moving averages or any commonly available indicator. So seeing now how we've been collecting this information over the previous 13 trading days, we also know where each company within the ETF sits in terms of this positive and negative trend. So let's walk through the process. At this point, I'm going to assume that you've decided to forego the development of your own tick by tick collection platform, and you're going to use our signals. If not, feel free. Uh, it took us a couple years to get this right. Ongoing data costs of over a thousand a month and well over $95,000 in programming. That's actually closer to 150,000 now over the years, but some folks just like to do it for self, themselves. So you're gonna watch for the signals. The signals come out every Friday at about 12.30 p.m. Pacific, 3.30 p.m. Eastern. You can trade the next day, the market opens Monday if you can't see the trade uh, or trade during that particular day. We're gonna show you how to buy or short the, the one times ETF or buy the two times ETF or the two times inverse ETF or buy calls or puts on the one times ETF or single or buy calls and puts on the double ETF. So it's all actually on this exact same chart that we showed you at the beginning. Uh, every trading decision that you would need to make is already on there. So on this particular screenshot, there, there wasn't a change in anything, but let's, let's point out on the DIA, if we, if we take a look at the very top line, uh, the current direction is currently bullish. So if we wanted to trade the single ETF, we would just buy the DIA. Uh, the current signal is bullish, and so if we wanted to trade the two times ETF or the double ETF, we would buy the DDM. And then over on the right-hand side, you can see the options. If we wanted to uh, get a lot more speculative and less conservative, we could buy a call option on the DIA. If we wanted to get super speculative, we could buy a call option on the DDM, which is the double ETF. And quite simply, we track everything by the results, the loss and gains based on the single ETF. So if you choose to do the double ETFs or the options, of course, your percentage gain will vary. Um, you know, in, in general, obviously, if you have a winning trade on the single ETF, you're going to have a winning trade on the options and the double, ETF as, uh, double ETFs as well. So then you hold that position until you receive a signal to reverse or, or rarely go to cash and re-enter the trade the next week. So an ETF is either bullish or bearish in the system. We try to be in the market at all times. If you're only comfortable playing an upside, then only trade when bullish and go to cash for that ETF when bearish. So every Friday around 12.30 p.m. Pacific, we'll be sending out email as to the status of where we believe the signals will be by the end of the day. This is done by posting on our website and by email. And then you do it again a couple hundred more times. Now this is where it gets really fascinating because we've done this 624 times over the past 10 years for an average of 5.2 trades per month. And that's where the real power comes in. It's not uh, making 4% on the DIA trade like this one is showing, 4.83% in 41 days or you're even you know, 38% like on the semiconductors trade that this is showing in 178 days. The real power is when you start using things like options, uh, as we show here, or also with the compounding, just the simple compounding effect of taking everything that you've been doing and applying it uh, and rolling it back in and bankrolling that in and out, short and long into these different sectors, that's where the real power comes in. So most of the time, um, you know, we, we have to have the simple explanation. This is a, just a shot from an iPhone. If you look at the iPhone, uh, this is the stock option, just to show you. For example, if the DIA was up 1.53%, the two times ETF isn't going to be up exactly two times that, but you can see the DIA is up 1.53% in the upper left. The DDM for the day was up 2.96%. The DXD, which is the two times inverse ETF, which is the next line below that, is down 2.92%. So they pretty much follow each other, but not exactly, of course. And talk a little bit about the options. Uh, the main thing with the options is do not overinvest. We recommend only investing uh, in one options contract for every $3,000 you put into the underlying ETF. 
uh, to keep things on the conservative side. We also have what we call the best in class buying. That's where we uh, break down the individual stocks that make up an ETF and show you which stocks inside the ETF are poised for a bigger breakout uh, to the upside or the downside uh, based on their performance inside the ETF itself. And of course, we talked about options. And of course, the usual legal stuff our attorneys make us say, the financial markets are risky, investing is risky, past performance does not guarantee future performance and all of that. We're not acting, acting as investment advisor, investment manager for funds are not under our direct control. So who might be interested? If you go ahead and type in the questions box, if you might be interested in maybe a yes, no, or a maybe, you know, if, again, this is the kind of trades that we're, that we're talking about here, we're talking about very simple trades where we're going long or short an ETF, a double ETF, or perhaps mine an option. Here's the equity chart on the Dow Jones going all the way back to 2006. With compound, you can see we turned $10,000 into about $425,000. With S&P 500 into north of $450,000, that was $10,000. With compounding, it's $450,000. NASDAQ uh, into over a million. You can see how smooth these equity curves are. Yes, they're not, you know, not going straight up or uh, without some jags in them, but that's that's to be expected. Banking uh, is one of our best ones into $10,000 to $3.5 million. Oil is our very, very best, $10,000 into 12 million. Gold, 10,000 to 450,000. Semiconductors, 3 million. Real estate, and you can see that all the equity curves on all of the different sectors are pretty dang good. <laughs> so again, we also show you, uh, provide you with all the, all the trades, exactly how they look. Uh, here's our results. Uh, that we keep in the membership area shows the keeping track of exactly the trades and with the compounding. And again, here is, if you can read this chart or if you think you could figure out how to read this chart, that's what we uh, publish on a weekly basis. That's what you're paying for. That's where the secret sauce is all baked in. We do all the work. We make the calculations using our ETF tipping point and our um, uh, computing power that we have at our, at our disposal to to analyze every single trade that goes off on every single stock inside every single ETF that we cover tick by tick. We add them all up and we get uh, a very good idea of where the market's going to, to, to go bullish or bearish. And then we place ETF trades uh, long or short. So hill of beans, that's what all this amounts to. If you don't take action on it, of course, uh, like I mentioned, I don't have any special training. I was not born with a silver spoon in my mouth. I grew up in a small dairy farming town. So here's my offer to coach 25 of you. Uh, we do have two program options. The first one is $997 for six months access to these signals or $2,997 for three years access. That's a 50% discount if you go with the three years from the, from the get-go. Also, if you go with the three years from the get-go, we do offer you my additional trading as a business course that we sell every single day for $2,000. Also, we'll offer you our weekly options science course, which is a weekly trade that we place on weekly options, of course. Uh, we sell that for $500. We'll give that to you for free just for uh, going ahead and, and ponying, up, po ponying up with the big boys and putting up $2,997 for three years access. But I hate overhead. I could get some fancy marketing, hire some full-time sales guys, but this is my office right, right here. Trading Science, 122 North, Raymond Suite 1, Spokane Valley, Washington, 99206. You can see the sign out there front. Um, if you ever happen to be in the Spokane area, we're on the east side of the state of Washington, about 10 miles from the Idaho border. Give the office a call. I love to meet with uh, current uh, customers and prospects, have, have a bit of lunch, something like that. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is something that we're in for the long term. You know, we're not some fly by night here today, gone tomorrow. We've been around a long time and we intend to be around even, even longer. So instead of dealing with big wigs, hedge fund managers, I'd rather just enjoy my free time and deal with just a few customers. We do have some testimonials that we would normally play, but in the interest of time, I'm going to skip over there of those. Suffice it to say, we have thousands and thousands of happy customers of students who use this ETF tipping point. Uh, my name is Dean Hamill. I this is close to the city. This is Dean. Uh, he's one of our best students. Has been following us for a couple of years now. Does extremely well. Uh, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is on this. 
and uh, in the interest of time to make sure we get pot top back up on time. I'm gonna take the majority of the risk, giving you an ironclad two-part performance guarantee. First part is pretty simple. Go through the entire training, start trading live or in demo mode. If you don't love it, get a complete refund anytime within 90 days of ordering. Simply submit your trading log and we'll issue a prompt refund. By trading log, uh, you actually have to execute some trades either in a demo account or with real money. And you know, the demo account is perfectly fine. Demo accounts are free, uh, wouldn't cost you a dime, but we do, require you to take some action. Part one, go through the trading, place, place the trades live. Part two, learn the system, use it for a full six months, executing all the trades as they come up. If you don't at least make back your system investment, $997 for the six month option in profit, I'll personally work, work with you for free until you do. Either way, you love it, make good money with it, or you hate it, you get your money back. I don't think we can be much more fair than that. Here's another testimonial uh -huh. from John Lilly, an attorney from Washington, D.C. He shows his uh, current balances and uh, profits and losses from trading the ETF tipping point. Uh, we're gonna do, do a couple bonuses and then we're gonna wrap up. The bonuses are quite simply, for the first 25 signups, we are gonna make a donation in your name to Kiva.org. If you're not familiar with Kiva, it makes uh, small loans, uh, to entrepreneurs in third world countries. It's one of the charities that's near and dear to my heart. With every sale, we make a donation to Kiva and we uh, uh, communicate th that to you so you can follow along with what, what that donation is doing. We also do a, a two-day live event. It's gonna be here in Spokane, Washington in the fall of 2017. You'll get free tickets to that. So to claim one of the 25 spots, there's two ways to order. The first way is to call our secure voicemail line at 509-720-7867. Leave a detailed message along with your full name and address, phone, email, and credit card number with expiration, along with your choice of which of the two packages you like, either the 997 or the 2997, and we'll return your call ASAP to confirm and process your order and answer any remaining questions. Or you can order online. Just type, go to etftippingpoint.com slash six month for the six month program for $997 or etftippingpoint.com slash three year for the three year program. So again, um, you know, here's, here's a shot of our last workshop here in Spokane. We hold it in the very, very nice uh, Davenport Hotel, uh, $20 million or something like that remodel here. It's an excellent location for these events. And again, to claim one of your spots, 509-720-7867 or etftipreport.com slash six month or etftipreport.com slash three year. So I think we do have, of course, some, some more testimonials, but in the interest of time, we're gonna skip over the, those. Um, and I think that about covers it. I think we do have, we had some FAQs, but uh, in the interest of time, we're gonna skip through some of those. And again, our guarantee, part one, go through the entire training, place a de demo trade or live trade of the signals as they come up. If you don't love it, that's, you know, you don't like the, the sound of my voice on the videos, you don't like the colors you use on the website, any, any reason at all, uh, sim simply submit your trading log and we'll issue a prompt refund. No questions asked. Part two, learn the system, use it for a full six months, executing all the trades that come up. If you don't at least make your system investment back, 997 for the six month option to be profit. We'll personally work with you for free until you, until you do. So that's it. Uh, thanks for uh, being on with us today.